Hey everyone, Steve here once again to give a quick video showing how I upgrade the M.2 SAT 3 storage on a Dell XPS 13 laptop. The main reason I did this was for an increased storage in a tryout and off-brand SSD. I'm also placing a new copy of Windows 10 on my laptop and I'll show briefly how I installed it from a USB. The SSD I'm upgrading to is the My Digital SSD BP5E 48GB M.2 SSD. I purchased this off of Amazon for $129 and I'll be replacing my current drive which is a Samsung 128GB SSD. For reference, I used iFixit's teardown guide in order to get to the underside of my device as well as iFixit's ProTech toolkit but any brand of tools will do the job just fine. To install from a USB, I had to access the BIOS first and turn off Secure Boot. There may be other methods to bypass this, but this is the way I prefer. In my PC's login page, I placed my cursor over the power icon and selected Restart, but also held the Shift key while I clicked Restart to get into the recovery settings. From the recovery screen, I'm given a list of options. Just as a side note, if this PC didn't have Secure Boot enabled or any other boot protection enabled, I would go ahead and use the User Device option but in my case I still need to access the BIOS. So continuing on, I clicked on the troubleshoot icon, selected advanced options, UEFI firmware settings, and clicked restart. At the UEFI BIOS screen, the first thing I did was turn off secure boot, which is located under its own tab. I also went under post behavior, went to extended BIOS post time, and set that to five seconds to allow delay in boot time. After that, I saved and exited, and now on startup, I get a 5 second prompt in the top right corner of the screen to change my boot options. Now that I know I can boot off a USB, I can proceed with swapping the storage. At the bottom of the device, there are 9 screws, 8 Torx screws, and 1 Phillips screw behind a plate with the device ID. For this, I grabbed my iFixit screwdriver kit and took out the T5 bit to take out the first 8 screws and a Phillips J00 bit for the last screw, but I think any small screwdriver will do. Once the screws were off, I had to force the bomb off the laptop using a spudger to work around the plate because there are clips attaching it, and also glue which I was generally surprised with. Once the bomb was off, I can see the internals of the laptop and more specifically where the SSD is located. For safety reasons, I chose to disconnect the battery temporarily, although most people will probably ignore this. The connector was very snug, so I used a plastic opening tool to get it out without hurting the speaker wire that was next to it. Then came the storage swap, which was the simplest task. I removed the screw that was holding down the SSD, angled the stick upward, and removed the old drive. For the new drive, it was basically the same process but reversed, with angling the B&M connector in, pressing down, and screwing the drive back in. With the new drive in there, I can reattach the battery connector and reattach the bottom of the laptop to continue on. Now with everything back together, I attached my Windows 10 USB drive and booted up the laptop. Since I changed settings in the BIOS, I can hit F12 during the 5 second prompt to interrupt the boot sequence and boot off the USB. Going through the Windows setup prompts, when I get to the drive selection page, I can see that Windows detected the SSD based on the storage info. From there, it's just typical Windows installation and installing drivers, which everyone knows how to do. So after using the new storage on my laptop for a few months, it seems to be doing okay. I haven't noticed a speed increase or decrease when opening programs or performing tasks, and given that I'm using a SATA interface instead of something like NVMe storage, I know I'm not going to get blazing fast speeds. Mainly, I just wanted the increased storage, which I'm glad to say I have now. Before, I had to worry if I had enough storage to install large programs and files. Now, after loading all the files and programs that I use daily, it's not much of an issue anymore. For those interested, I ran Crystal Disk Mark on both my previous drive and my current drive, and I'll post the results here. Out of curiosity on Amazon, I found the Samsung Evo 850 500GB M.2 SSD and looked at other users' crystal disk mark speeds and found that the BP5E speeds aren't that far off from this drive. Granted, there are other factors to take into account when comparing scores from different PCs and Samsung bundles software with their drives to get the most out of them, but I think for the price and just looking at base scores, the BP5E is a reasonable drive. In closing, I'm glad I made the upgrade. 
I could have just bought external drives and SD cards to hold me over, but that would have been more items to carry and wouldn't be as fast as the onboard storage. I also have more confidence in my digital SSD and might be purchasing more items from them in the near future. So that'll do it for me. This is Steve signing off and I'll see you around.